Hey everybody, welcome to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com, VisionRecordingStudios.com, and here on my YouTube channel. And today I'm just doing a quick uh, video on the new uh, keyboard that I purchased to go along with PreSonus Studio One, um, the editor's keys version of this keyboard. I've seen a couple of uh, people show them on YouTube, and um, there's only one that's really any good video-wise, and that's by my buddy Johnny Geib. And uh, he had a problem, I guess, with one of his keys on his keyboard. The, uh, the backlit version, which I just purchased. And I wasn't sure when I first purchased this keyboard if it was just gonna be a cheap piece of junk. Um, you know, sometimes you, you get these keyboards and they're not really well built, they're not really sturdy. Um, and these are pretty expensive. They're about $160 um, for this keyboard. So I just wanted to show you the box and then show you the keyboard and give you my thoughts on it. So anyway, it comes in an outer box and inside of that outer box is this inner uh, box. Uh, this is a nice sturdy, um, packaging box. I was actually pleasantly surprised when I saw the box and here's some of the documentation. Um, and this is a nice sturdy um, kind of a, you know, real heavy kind of a foam in here to protect the keyboard. Um, really well packaged. I was, I was pleasantly surprised. It reminded me a lot of like the Apple products, the way they package them. Everything's nice and firmly fit. It's nice and well protected because this is shipping from overseas. I think somewhere in England over to the US. I wondered how it was going to arrive, but this is, you know, again, a nice sturdy box. And again, this came um, in an outer box as well. So this was the inner box. So that worked out uh, pretty, pretty well here. So let me just set that down here. Um, and then here is the keyboard. And so it's a wired keyboard. It's not wireless. And I think that's because you have the backlit um, portion of the keyboard. It has to be plugged in to the computer. I wish they made this in a wireless version, but it's not too bad. It's a wired keyboard. And the wire, the cable is uh, certainly long enough to go underneath my desk into the back of my computer. I don't know how long it is exactly, but it, I didn't need any kind of an extension. So that's pretty cool. Um, and here you can turn the lighting and the off. Uh, this is what it looks like when it comes in um, with the lighting, the back lighting off. And when you're in dim lighting, this is really, uh, really handy. I found this to be extremely handy uh, with the backlight. So just turn that on like this. Um, and then here is the backlit portion and the lights are on in my studio. So it's not completely dim. Um, it's a pretty l well lit room and you can still see how the, uh, the lights kind of come through. Now, the one thing that I found that I was, you know, again, skeptical of was this going to be like a cheap keyboard. And even though it is plastic, um, it is a heavy duty plastic. I will say um, the keys feel uh, pretty, pretty darn sturdy. Let me, uh, let me just, uh, let me just uh, close my Studio One session here so I don't screw it up uh, here. So let me just save. Let me uh, close Studio One here, or at least close the session. Uh, here we go. So I can pound around on the keys a little bit. Okay, so, sorry about that. So back to the keyboard. So what I found was the keys are uh, pre pretty, uh, pretty good. I was really surprised how well the keys are. They're, it's easy to type on. They feel nice under the hands. They don't feel um, you know, chintzy in any way. Um, I felt they were really, you know, really well lit. I know Johnny, my buddy Johnny, the other YouTube uh, uh, creator here, Johnny Guy, but the home studio trainer, go check out his website if you don't know who he is. Um, he had a problem with, I think, the F and the D key where they were kind of falling off on him, but he, he had thought that was just a defect on his particular keyboard, and I would have to agree. My keyboard isn't like that. All the keys are really solid. All the keys, it's a well-built keyboard. It's pretty hefty, pretty heavy duty. Even though it's plastic, it doesn't feel like a cheap piece of plastic. It doesn't feel like a, a cheap $20 keyboard that you buy. It feels a little bit more sturdy than that. And what I love about this, if you have not seen this before, and this is specific for Studio One, is all your shortcuts are all nice and labeled right on the keys, which in the couple of weeks that I've had this, um, has made my workflow a lot faster because I don't have all the hotkeys and all the shortcuts memorized. So this is pretty cool. So I mean, I had the I knew the basics, the one, two, three for your different uh, editing tools, mute. Up top here, you can see the help, the editor console. You'd be surprised how much once you start to use this, how much you take your hands off the mouse, and it speeds up your workflow. Um, and again, here is some of the other features. I'm going to go nice and slow. 
so people can see what's actually on this. You can go out to the Editor's Keys website. If you just Google Editor's Keys, you'll see a close-up of this. But it has a solo, duplicate, auto-scroll, I mean, all the things that you would want um, as far as the hotkeys go. You got a full, you know, return to zero, the toggle loop, this, this question mark uh, key I use a lot now. I use that a lot. I used to do that with a mouse. <laughs> I use that now quite a bit. The click, which is nice, the zoom. Um, and this is the Windows keyboard, and it will work with a Mac. I'm using it with a Mac. They don't make a Mac-specific uh, keyboard for the backlit version. I believe they make this keyboard also in a white color that's not backlit, and I think there's a Mac and a PC version of it. But I will tell you that the PC version works fine with the Mac. I don't know really what the difference is. Again, this window key would be your Apple key if you were on a Mac, and that would be here. So the keys would be reversed. So I'm always used to going Command S for save um, on a Mac. So I just have to get used to the Windows key. My finger has to be over here. But again, not a big deal. Um, and then if you were to move down here, you can see, again, the delete key, end of page, page up, page down. And on the number keypad, you have a full transport control, uh, marker recalls, which is really cool. You can move to different markers in the song just by the keypad, which is really helpful for me. I like that. I like the record button here. The arm record uh, is the letter R. Where the hell is it? Here it is, which is really cool. So you disarm the track by hitting the R, which is great. I didn't usually do that. <laughs> Um, and again, so it's, it's a really nice keyboard. It really does help speed up your workflow. Again, it's a bit pricey, but I don't see it as something that's, you know, $159. Yeah, it's pricey. And let's face it, it's $159 and it's not wireless. Um, however, it is built quite well. The backlit is really, really nice. Um, you know, I guess I, I well, I'm not going to go turn all the lights off in the studio, but I can tell you that I have quite a bit of lighting here. If you turn the lights really down, um, this is really nice when you have a really uh, dim, dim lit room. This works beautifully. So I found that this keyboard is really cool. I was surprised at how well it was packaged. I was surprised how well it was built. I thought it was going to be really chintzy and cheap, but I don't feel that it is. I feel that it is a, a decent keyboard for the money. And again, this is for PreSonus Studio One. It'll work with all the versions of Studio One. One, two, or three really doesn't matter. I believe it'll work with all of them. And again, you can go out to editorskeys.com and you can purchase the keyboard from there. And they also make them for other DAWs. They make them for Logic, Pro Tools, but I don't believe they make a backlit version for those other DAWs. They just make the backlit version for Studio One. I believe that's the case. Um, and again, you just turn it on and off. If you don't want the backlit, you just turn it on and off here with the scroll lock key and that'll turn the, the lights off if you don't want it. But once you start using the lights, I can't see how you're going to uh, go back from that. So anyway, this has been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Just wanted to show you the new Editor's Keys keyboard. I think it is a good keyboard if you use PreSonus Studio One and you're looking to speed up your workflow by really getting your shortcuts all right out in front of you on the keyboard. This is a great keyboard to have. Uh, I will say one last thing. I did find that from just using a standard Apple keyboard that the spacing for the typing I don't, I haven't put them two side by side, but the spacing, the keys feel a little different. Like maybe they're a little too close together where on the Apple keyboard, they're a little more spread out. The keyboard looks to be a standard size keyboard. Um, so it, it took a little bit, you know, I feel I'm a pretty good typist and I felt like I was hitting between the keys a couple of times. So the spacing might be a little off, but again, not a big deal. I mean, once you get used to it, it speeds up my workflow so much, it really doesn't matter. So anyway, uh, have any questions, any comments? Um, if you have this keyboard, let me know what you think. Send a comment, put it down in the comment section. And for more tips, training, and uh, coaching in everything home recording, head over to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And for more info on my mixing and mastering services, you can head over to visionrecordingstudios.com. So this has been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Take care, guys.